This is Edward Mungai with Inspire Leadership, inspiring you into leadership. A concept that I think have made me to get to where I am. This is a concept about the priorities in life. I have three in a certain order and that order matters to me. Well, number one is about God. Yes, you heard me. I'm a very spiritual person, a Christian for that matter, and a Catholic for that matter. Second is about my family. My wife, my kids, and the extended family. And number three, work. And work, you would quantify it to be career, or whatever you want to call it. So these three principles, or these three things, is really what matters in my life. Now the most interesting thing is that they have to be in that order. God, family, and work. I promise you, if you try to interchange them, at least from the little experience that I've got, it will be a mess. Look at it as a three-legged stool. And if you miss one or you misplace one, or you give emphasis to one more than the other, my friend, it will not acquire balance. So to have a balanced life, I truly believe, and with a lot of humility, that you need to consider God first, you need to consider your family, and you need to consider your work as the last thing. So meaning, if you have a conflict between God and family, what do you take? Yes, of course you take that activity that is about God. If you have a conflict between work and your family, now it means your family comes first. And I tell you, this is a big challenge for many of us, especially balancing family and work. For many of us, work comes first. Now the truth of the matter is that you are going to lose that work and you are going to lose your family and probably you will also lose God. Now what are we talking about God? Is about knowing or having a good relationship with your maker. Are you adhering to the Ten Commandments as an example? How well are you participating in bringing other people closer to God? How well are you doing in terms of getting that time where you speak to your God? And you know this is an interesting concept because we have the tithing concept. The tithing concept normally tells us that we should keep away 10% or at least give God 10% of our revenues. What about time? Should we give 10% of our time to God? I mean, what does it mean? You have 24 hours in a day. Should you say that 2.4 hours should actually go to God? I think that's how it should be. And that's how we should focus on that first number one, which is about God. Is about apostrophe, is it about how many people are you bringing closer to God? The other day somebody was making a joke to me and was telling me, Edward, you know what? When you go to heaven, you will be able to see all the people in hell. And where, if you go to hell, Edward, you'll be able to see people in heaven. And I mean, you don't want to see all your friends are in heaven, whereas you, you are in hell, or the other way around, that you're in heaven, but everybody else you associated with is in hell. I mean, it is your duty and responsibility to carry as many people as possible to heaven. Now, let's talk about family. How much time are you spending with your wife? How much time are you spending with your kids? How well do your kids know you? Are you having fun with your wife? Are you going for adventure with your wife? Are you taking the time to understand your family? Are you taking time to appreciate them? Are you taking time or kind of help them also to get to levels of success? 
we must be able to carry our families together. If you are not married, if for the single people, I mean, you have your father and mother, you have your cousins. How well are you relating with them? How much time are you spending with them? When is the last time you made a call to them? Or even a surprise dinner? Or even you decided to make food for them? Well, food for thought. We must have good relationships with our family. Finally, I want to talk about work, and this is a misconception that we must always work hard, hard, hard on our jobs. I mean, you will end, but work will never end. So please, it's important that you do have a work-life balance to ensure that you're not spending the best of your time in the office. Remember, there's nobody in their deathbed have ever said that they regret not spending too much time in the office. People only regret that they spend very little time with their God and with their family. God, family, and work into that order. And my friends, you will end up in a place called successful. This is Edward Mungai with Inspire Leadership, unlocking your potential.